There we go. Merry Christmas, guys! Yep, Merry Christmas 2019, everybody. Yep, and it We're is finally actually here. Christmas. Yeah, it's Christmas. Woohoo! Woo! I'm still calling it Swiftmas, though, but that's okay. Yeah, it's Christmas time, guys. So, we have decided to do a Christmas haul. Mm -hmm. However, because Sean has work tomorrow morning, he has to be leaving soon unfortunately yeah i gotta go back to work tomorrow guys so and and i actually end up getting a lot of presents a lot this a lot year. so what so, i'm getting at is we really only have time to show my gifts yeah but i actually am wearing a couple of my gifts mm -hmm. that i actually have on like this hat was actually from sunday's video i don't know if you guys remember but this is the boba fett hat and what we'll do is we'll put the link uh to that video in the description mm -hmm. down below but this is actually this shirt that I'm wearing, the Star Wars shirt, was actually from Marie, and it's the um, it's actually the entire uh, saga, all in one, mm -hmm. in the whole logo. Yep. The only thing though is, is that, <coughs> excuse me, my friend uh, actually has this shirt, but it has the whole time like written in words of movies on the back. This one doesn't. Mm. So, and I ordered yeah. the one that his friend sent me the direct link to, but... But then it was from a I different think, website. No, no, it brought me to the right shirt that your friend sent me the link. Yeah, but right. But I'm thinking the manufacturer put the wrong shirt in the package. Probably. Because they had this shirt, you guys, and then they also had the one that his friend sent me the link to, but they both said Timeline T. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking the company just got... Confused, but yeah, that's okay that's fine he got a timeline shirt he's happy yeah i'm pretty happy um so one of my first gifts i know y'all can't see it because we are using it but sean here did so good oh and finally got me a tripod for my phone yeah so no more having to but because when we first started this channel we actually had, we had the phone out like this or on my dresser across on the, dress, the way yeah on the dresser yeah and then sometimes the phone would fall or his arms are get tired, my arms get tired, so. Right. Sean decided to get me a tripod for my phone, and it also fits the camera, too. So, for in the future, if we ever get a real camera, it'll fit the camera or the phone. Yeah. And Sean has a 8 phone, right? Uh, actually, it's an iPhone 7 Plus. 7 Plus, and I have an XR, but the tripod says it fits phones 6 and up. Yeah. So, there's that. Mm hmm So then, Shawnee did not mean to. <laughs> excuse you. Yeah. Did not mean to do this at all. It was supposed to be a prank gift. Why didn't you explain? Yeah, this was actually a prank gift originally. My family and I like to do this thing where we actually like to have, like, one prank for each of us. So, like, one person gets pranked each year. Mm -hmm. And apparently, uh, Marie here actually got pranked. However, though, it actually turned out to be a pretty useful item. Look! It's he bought the baby an outfit, a little elf. And if you're wondering where the ears came from, my dad came over last night to spend the night with me because my mom's out of town for Christmas, which is sad. Um, but my dad decided to buy the baby his first pair of Mickey ears. Yeah, isn't that cute? But look, guys, it's a little elf outfit. Yeah, look at that. How sweet. That's and he even sweet. has little... Yeah, little little feet right here, yeah. Again, the, doll, the baby is not real. It's a doll. I made a video with him the other day at the mall, and I made an unboxing video explaining my reasons for why. Thank you all for being so kind mm -hmm. and understanding. Oh, wait, it's on my channel. Yeah, it's on your other channel. Oops! Well, still, the videos are on YouTube. They're on my channel. I will link them down below. Yeah. But isn't he cute, you guys? Yeah, he's very cute. All right. Yeah, put him over there, though. Yeah, I'll put him... Uh, be nice. I'll put him over here where he can lay over there. He just manhandled the baby. Yeah, so, but he's comfortable really? now. But uh, let's continue showing off your gifts. So this is my favorite gift, Mr... Spin. Did you say GIF, like the GIF on the phone? Probably. <laughs> I just find that funny. <laughs> gift. Yeah, gift. Tuh. 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 <laughs> um, Mr. Spin. Yeah. Now, babe, do you want to tell them story, Spin? 
Well, the story of Sven is that, you know, she... I want to dethaw Frozen. Yeah, she actually, she hates the movie Frozen. I or really she, do. Well, you originally did, but then you came over... Can I light you on fire? <laughs> well, yeah, you came over to my house one day, and we decided to watch it, because the thing is, we watch the same movies, like, over and over again. It's like, you know what, I'm getting tired of watching some, you know, these movies. Let's watch Frozen, and so... We watched it, and, well, I mean, I've already seen it a couple times. She, you know, only seen it once in the theaters, oh, thank and goodness. she didn't really like it. So, but then after watching it a second time, she really liked it. But she said Sven is her all-time favorite character. And for months and months, actually probably the last year, every time Sean's taking me to Target or the Disney store, Sean's favorite game, if you guys don't know, is let's let Marie hug every animal. Yeah. And then ask her which one she enjoys hugging the most, and then secretively go back and buy it for her later. Yeah. So, and every time, it was Sven. Yep, got and Every Sven. time he bought me an animal, it was not Sven. Yep, we got Sven now. So we have Sven. Yep. Alrighty, would you like to show them something now? Yeah, let's see. So, speaking of another stuffed animal, guess what we got? We got Forky. Forky. Yeah, we got Forky from Toy Story 4. And it says it right on the tag. Well, yeah, Duh. obviously. But uh, if you guys don't all know, he's the one of the new characters from Toy Story 4. Funny thing about this toy is that he was actually recalled originally. Because you see his eyes, you guys? Those are not his original eyes. Yeah, these were actually, um, you probably... Googly eyes. Yeah, they were googly eyes. And Speaking the thing, of eyes, I've got something in my eyes. And the thing of it is, is that the eyes would fall, I guess they would fall off, and then the kids would get a hold of them and then... Eat them. Eat them and get choked Which is out. unfortunate. So now they, they did some re redos on these toys, and mm -hmm. now he's got pretty much sewn-on eyes, so mm -hmm. now he's a pretty a safe toy to, uh, you know, play with. Yep. Another one of my favorite gifts, sticking with the Toy Story theme. I gotta get up here. Yeah, check it out, guys. She's Rex wearing... Rex pajamas! Rex pajamas, and she's now, actually... Now, we all know how much I love Rex. Yeah. Who is the absolute love of my life in Toy Story. And so I'm wearing Rex pants. They look like his legs in the movie. But it also came with shorts that have... Rex on them. Rex on them. I pulled these out of the box. I'm like, oh my god, you got me Rex boxers? And he starts laughing. Yeah. And he's like, no, <laughs> it's pajamas, honey. They're for summer. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, so then when nice. it gets... What Sean doesn't know is I don't wear shorts to bed. Yeah. Because I hate my knees touching. Right, but when it gets hot in the summertime, as it does here in Florida, mm -hmm. then you're going to want to have some shorts. Oh, so my dad got me these. I can't flex my foot like that. <laughs> also, my dad got me these black. Unicorn. Unicorn. Um. Sock slippers. These are sock slippers. Yeah, slipper socks. These are what your mom wanted. Right. These are sock slippers. Yeah. And I did, I, by the way, she actually liked, uh, I got my mom some Minnie Mouse slipper socks and she loved them. Oh, good. Yeah. So, Moana baby. Yeah, so we actually got a lot of, she also got a lot of Moana stuff. She got these Moana socks with Pua on here. Pua yeah, is Pua. the other love of my life. Yeah, your other favorite character. And then, of course, is it, well, actually, um, I don't know where it happened to the shirt, but... Here, it's right here. It's right oh. here in my pile. Okay. So then this is a Moana shirt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, check that out. Isn't that cool? And it's just plain on the back. Yeah. This is cool, though. It's very cool. I love Moana. I can't start to, wear, to start wearing my Moana shirts. Yeah, and then going back to Toy Story, we have a shirt with... Forky! Forky on it, which is cool. Can't wait for you to wear this. Maybe we should, like, we should have a day at a Toy Story Land one day. And yeah. Can wear this. And I can wear, I actually end up getting some Toy Story stuff for Christmas, guys. So I'll have to show that off in the f video on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And then, keeping up with the Disney theme, we have... One of my other favorite movies. Coco. Coco. Yeah, Coco, yeah. It's... And it's, uh, it's got the um, all the characters on it, and on the bottom it says, Remember Me. Oh, no. What? It has all the characters Well, no, it. I don't think so. It doesn't have, does it have the crews? Yes, it does, in the corner. <sighs> it's still a cool shirt. You should wear it. I want to burn it now. No, you're going to wear it. Please tell them what, what the problem is. 
She hates the character Ernesto de la Cruz. You should wear it, though. It's a cute shirt. I'll wear it. Don't worry. Good. All right. So then my mom or my dad, going back to my dad, mm -hmm. got me, since I've been into her lately, my first per purse, my first <laughs> piece of Billy Eilish merchandise. And it says on it, it's the album cover, and it says, oh, this is the one that says it. Um, what's, her, what's the name of her album, do you remember? When we fall asleep, where do we go? Um, but on the back, it just says Billie, Billie Eilish. Eilish. And speaking of Billie Eilish, I'm seeing her in March with my dad. This is the second shirt that I want to show y'all first. This is Billie Eilish in anime form. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It looks like she's. Could and on be the in bottom it says the tour, but it's not the tour, it's just the CD. When we all fall asleep, where do we go? Yes. Yeah. So that'd probably be the name of the tour. Where we all fall asleep, where do we go to? It is the name of the tour. Oh. I get oh, I got that right. Because it's her only CD. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean she has another C D, but it was an E P. Right. <clears throat> and people don't usually tour on EPs. Yeah, so anyways, this is, uh, the next thing we're gonna show off is Corgis, Love for Lover Corgis. This one says, and I do love Corgis. short and sweet, and that's what you are, you are short and sweet. Aww. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, I wanna go get the other Corgi. The other Corgi. I wanna go get the other Corgi. Okay. Um, yeah, so I guess she's gonna go get the other Corgi. Oh, that one. Um, but yeah, so... Here, this is the next shirt here. Also got this for her. It's, uh, what does it say on here? The Rough Life. Gorgeous. It's really cute. And while we're on the topic of corgis, Sean got me this corgi squishy that's dressed as a unicorn. Yeah, it's so cute. Would you say it's a unicorny? You go corgi. Mm -hmm. But really I, then I looked at him, I'm like, why would I want to strangle a corgi? I love corgis. See, that's what you do with a squishy. Yeah, it's a stress. It's you... a stress reliever. You relieve why? your stress. Okay, but why would I want to strangle the love of my life? That'd be like lighting on fire. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to light. You don't want to light me on fire. <laughs> you almost lit me on fire. And then, if you guys don't know what that's from, that's from Frozen, which I might actually like. You you like the movie? Be I honest. I like that one part. And and we're also we're planning on seeing Frozen two sometime in the future. We just don't know when. So. And then she also got some Marie Kitty <coughs> socks. Turn you guys off. can see. Oh my god. See, look, it's Marie Kitty. It's me. Yeah. Yeah, you have to try these on. Then. And then going back to Toy Story, I know you guys three are like all over the board. I got this Bo Peep shirt from my best friend. Aww. And my, my best friend, same best friend, also got me this lovely Toy Story shirt. Yeah, Toy Story 4 shirt, because it also has, um, it also ha it has Forky on it, and it also has Duke Kaboom on it. Duke Kaboom, Canada's greatest stuntman. My best friend <laughs> is Sean's best friend. Yeah, my best friend, uh, my best friend Kevin. Yes, yeah. Kevin. So. We like Kevin. Yeah, we do. We like them. <laughs> Why are you giving me that look for? We like Kevin. Honey. Sean knows I'm just messing with them. Yeah. I do that all the time. And also, like, as you guys probably see in the background, um, uh, not just her, but we, we actually collect Funko Pops, and we're going to show them off. I think at the end of the video, we should twist the camera that way and show them yeah, how many Yeah, show I how many I have. have. And that will also be a future video... In... Tonight, you guys get a quick glimpse, but later on, we'll do a long video. Yeah. So, let's show off these pops here. It's the Pop Rise. This is the Moana. Moana Pop. Yeah, now this pop, it's her riding the boat, and it has Hey Hey and Pua on it. What's the name on the front? What's it say? I can't it's read the, it's Moana and Pua on boat. Oh, wow. That's an original title. And this title. is, Jesus. yeah. And this is the, it's from... Uh, San Diego Comic-Con 2019. This is actually exclusive to uh, Box Lunch. And Box Lunch actually had the plenty of these stocked. So that's why I didn't get it when it got released. So I figured I, I would wait a while. I asked them for it. Yeah. Well, you either it was either this or the Up House with Kevin. And I figured I'd get the Up House with Kevin. 
because long story short the bird not his best friend yeah the bird which actually that's part of new york city comic con oh um but actually this came out around the time when carl and ellie came out and apparently i found out that they didn't restock carl and ellie so it's a good thing i got it while i well, i got carl and ellie while i did because they didn't restock them and they're actually worth a lot of money right now on before, Pop Press Guy. before we show you my favorite pop that i've gotten this christmas i will show you a baby pop yeah the or a regular size pop go ahead those are big girl pops these are baby pops oh uh, is that what you call them mm -hmm. <laughs> um this is the Target dog from Target, whose name is Bullseye, but you see this pink sticker right here that says flocked? It means he's fuzzy like a dog. Yeah. Oh, there's um words in the back. Yeah, you want to read them? Yes. Bullseye has been Target's official spokes pup since 1999. Not spokes person, spokes pup. Oh, that's cute. He's the life of the party wherever he goes, from store openings to award shows to Hollywood red carpet events. He might just be the world's most lovable bull terrier. Aww. Aww. That's cute. He cute. He is. And yeah. if you guys want to take a moment and pause. You can read it. And read that. But yeah, he's one he's a really cool ad icon. And I, I you know, I collect a lot of ad icons mm -hmm. in my collection, so yeah, you know, I also have the same pop, and I also got the original and the one that's exclusive to San Diego Comic Con, which is actually worth a lot of money right now. So now on to my favorite pop that I've been after for a year. Yep, and I actually had this in my closet since May. Oh, jeez. It's SpongeBob. SpongeBob, SpongeBob with Gary. Friends. We just have together. <laughs> you is for you and me. <laughs> Stop me before somebody gets copyright because yeah it gets copyrighted and we'll be taking off youtube <laughs> we're just i i'm just making up i don't know the song she i know the whole it. song yeah word for word of course you do you're a spongebob fan. i love spongebob but yeah see it's spongebob with gary and I'm the pine house ready. <laughs> with the pineapple I'm ready, house I'm ready, I'm ready. and this is these are actually known as pop towns and they're actually, they're coming out with more of these guys next year, so. Oh no, please help me. Yeah, well, you know, that's how Funko is, but it's really cool, guys. And on the back here, they got uh, Spongebob with the rainbow, Patrick with the uh, nail in the wood in his head, and then we have uh, Squidward, or, you know, Squidward. And I out. have all three of those. Yeah, so now you got the whole set, which is Yay. cool. So, that's uh, it for Funko Pops. Ready. Is there anything else that you want to show off? The stuff. The stuff. Cold. So, this is a funny story. <laughs> so, we did Christmas photos a few weeks ago. Um. <coughs> excuse me. Do you want to run out to the kitchen and get it off the fridge and show them? Mm-hmm. While I show them this? Yeah, I'll go do that. <clears throat> This is the original shirt that my mom had bought me to wear for the photos. It's like a, we decided to do like a winter theme. So this is like a nice sweater that she bought me to wear over like a pink shirt. And if you see the arms have like ribbons on them, Sean's going to go get the actual photo. But this, this shirt sweater was not worn in the photo, but you guys are going to love what was. I'm coming back. But yeah, guys, if you take a look here, this is that the actual is what photo. Was the photo. Yeah, it was actually it was like a corduroy jacket or a pink corduroy jacket. Yeah. But yeah, I like this photo. It's a nice photo of us. Yeah. And that was a secret project we were doing weeks ago that we were gonna tell you about, but decided not to. But I didn't think that. My mother wrapped this up after giving it to me, you guys. Really? Yeah, really? <laughs> like, I knew about it. But it came with this beautiful skirt that I didn't know was coming. Yeah, that's I really love cute. Cordero. I hate skirts. I hate dresses. I hate anything girly. But I've been really into corduroy lately. Yeah, and I think that's really, that's really nice and if you guys, skirt. I don't know if we've ever talked about it, but we go to church every Sunday. And my favorite church outfit to wear is my yellow corduroy skirt with floral top with 
um, a yellow sweater and nice hat. I think my mom got tired of me wearing that church almost every weekend. Yeah, so then you need to change your pace. So in fact, you got this. This is the bag. Yeah, it's nice. really nice. Yeah. Oops. Uh-oh. And then speaking of corduroy, mm -hmm. one of my favorite outfits that Sean got me. It's a corduroy jumper. Jumper. Jumper, jumper, jumper. Yeah. That was in a Spongebob video game. Oh, really? Huh. <laughs> of course you would know that. You're a big Spongebob nerd. <laughs> Video. Right. I'm, we're doing it. So. so. Alright, go, go ahead. <laughs> this is a nice jumper that Sean bought me. And you guys can say, did he expect you just to wear the jumper? Uh, no. He bought me the most cutest shirt ever. Or shirts, I should say. Yeah, shirts. I can go with it. So this can go with it. It's zebras. Yeah, zebras. And again, going back to like my mom getting tired of what I wear to church, he's getting tired of me wearing giraffes to the zoo. Yeah, you need to change it up. Like, because you said zebra's your favorite animal. Well, giraffes are my favorite animal. Yeah. So I got this nice shirt, and it came with this shirt. Yeah, isn't that cute? Yeah, so does. Yeah. We love zebras. Yeah, it's really cute. But yeah, um, I think that pretty much wraps it up. I don't and know then if we you need have to show this. This is a gift card to Starbucks. $25, but you're like, what is this box? It is a gift card maze. Maze, yeah. And then pretty much what you do, I actually had one of these earlier. Is that you move the ball around and you have to hit um, a certain thing and then you open it and that's how you get the gift card. You I just, found it. You get it. You gonna get it out? Yeah. It, they're actually very easy, guys. I thought it was gonna be hard at first, but it turns it out they're very easy. Did you? Well, here. Do you need help? No. You gotta like roll the ball again over. I got. Oh. And then. You're getting there. You're getting close. Here, do you need help? Or you got it? No. I got this. Okay. This is going to be very interesting. I wonder if she can do it. You know what? That's not how you do it. You know what? I'm going to get it the way I can get it. Here. Let me see. So pretty much what you do is... I'm going to strangle the person who gave, who gave us this. Well, here. You have it right on the... You have the ball right here. Well, I do. And well, you have to move this. And um, you, like, you see this thing right here? You got to move it. And then... I, I just... I did have it. Wow. What the heck? Oh, here we go. Look. I got hey. it. Hey! Oh, you broke it. We both did it. Well, now you got hey. the gift card. We figured that out, honey. We did, it, we did it together. Aww. Aww. Yeah, and you can save this for next year when you get me a gift card, and then I have to figure it out. But by then you'll know. I might. I may forget. You never know. Speaking of gift cards, my dad also gave me a tons of gift cards. He gave me a Target card for all my gift cards are twenty five dollars, you guys. So he gave me a gift card for twenty five dollars to Target. No, you can't get that back together. I'm trying to get it back together. I don't know why he chose Panera because I almost never eat at Panera. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Oh, you know what? What? He knows that I like that soup. Oh, the that, uh, um, broccoli cheddar. No, the pumpkin squash. Oh, and then you better save that for next year, October. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to hold on for that for months. So what I would do is I would drive 20 minutes every day to go spend 12 dollars on a soup. I can't even get that's this the back thing. In. That's why he gave me this. So 25 dollar Panera and 25 another 25 to Starbucks. Yeah, so you got plenty of Starbucks money. 
I can't even get this back in. Oh my god, though, really? Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. So you opened it. I guess to break once, it. once it's open, I guess it's open. Or there's, there's gotta be a way to seal it up. Man. Yeah, and then speaking of Kevin, the love of my life, his grandmother gave me and Sean a card. Yeah, that's nice. I really do love Kevin, but Shawnee's it for me. Aw, I love you too. Yeah, so that's pretty much, well, you already, did you, you know, I mean, I don't know if you want to show him Pua, but Pua is pretty much the same one as the one that's up top of, uh. Sean forgot he bought him for me for my birthday. So yeah. He bought him again. Oh, the ornaments. Yeah, let's show them up. Let's show the ornaments off. So we're going to switch the camera over and we're going to show, show them the, uh, oh yeah, I forgot we, we have a remote. We now. got a fancy new remote now. So we're going to show them up, show them the Christmas tree. All right, guys, so this is one of the first ornaments I opened. It, of course, is Moana and Pua, who seems to be the new love of my life of 2019. Mm -hmm. Of course, I say everything is the love of my life. That's yeah, okay. that's probably your way of telling that, that this is your favorite. And I don't remember if I got this last night or not, but this is the Up House. I don't, got, I don't think we got you that. Or we might have, I don't know. I don't, I don't no, remember. yeah, we didn't. I don't remember, honestly. Now I have to get up without hurting my spine. Oh, and then I have to go back down. This is Forky. Yeah, there's Forky. And see, on here he has the googly eyes. Mm-hmm. And a pencil for some reason. Yeah. But because he likes to draw. Mm -hmm. Look at that. And the accent yeah. is hollow. You can... Yeah, like a spork. Wow. Yeah. Really cool. You got poor Beast taking a bath. Mm-hmm. Splash, splash. Oh, yeah. Did you, a bath. did you show him the Carl and Ellie ornament that's down there? No! I was making that last, honey. Aw. Because it's my favorite. I have been... Oh. I have been chasing this ornament since it came out. Because y'all don't know, but Sean and I kind of... Oh, I don't want to cry. Aw. We can't, the thing is, was that we, we, re, we relate to them because they've Please known each other for ever since they were kids. And every time, like when Marie and I watch the movie, she says that that's going to be us and that we are them. We actually dressed up as them, uh, for Tampa Bay Comic Con this year. You know, and every time we watch the beginning of Up, we always cry. So, but yeah, there's the ornament right there, guys. You know, it's the scene where they're putting, they when they first bought their house and they're getting their mailbox all ready for, uh, you know, for when they live in their house. But yeah, this is the tree, guys. Marie's tree. And I think we did a video. I'm okay. Didn't we do a video on your tree? Um, I think so. But yeah, what we'll do is we'll put a link in the description down below. But, uh, yeah, Ooh. so... But yeah, Don't that's all make the me ornaments. cry on our channel again. You didn't, you didn't put the one that's over here. I'll show you guys over there. It's probably too heavy. Yeah, it is too. But heavy. um, it's Wheezy and the Green Alien from uh, Toy Story, and what's funny is that they're in a uh, teacup, and look, it spins, which is pretty cool. But yeah, those are all the new ornaments that I got for you this year. So, all right. Let's move what? on to the next gift. All right, guys, and to top it off, my big gift of this Christmas is this beautiful photo. Yeah, and, and the story behind this is this is an actual sketch. It's a caricature. Us, but this was when we first, um, it was from our first year together. And this, we actually got this done at Universal when we had Universal annual passes. My dad was kind enough to give us the money prior to go ahead and get it because we've been wanting one forever and he thought our first year's anniversary is the perfect time to get it. So he went ahead and paid for it prior, uh, made us an appointment and we went up and we got it done. But yeah, if you guys look here, we look totally different. Like she's Can got- look closer to them? Yeah. Like see, she's got My like, hair was purple and, and brown. Down. It yeah. was brown and purple, and then I, I had no beard. <laughs> no beard and no glasses. The way I like them, you guys. <laughs> no beard and no glasses? 
But you've always worn glasses. I meant the beard. Oh, but I was going to say, you don't like these these glasses I'm wearing? Oh, you know what I have to say about the glasses. Oh. That I'm not going to say on camera. Oh, yeah, I, I know what it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Anyway, so this was my big gift for this year. And Bob, why don't you tell them your big gift, even though you can't show them? Uh, well, my big Bev. gift, Bev. what? Oh. Oh, yeah, well, I have it in um, my bag right now with my other gifts. And, and we'll what, show you on Sunday. And what it was was a robe. Mm -hmm. And we'll show you guys on Sunday. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that video because there's lots of stuff that I want to show off. And it's a lot of really cool gifts. And we are going to go to church on Sunday. And Sean's going to come out, come over and hang out with me on Sunday. Yeah. I, unfortunately, will not be in that video because he'll do that video once he gets home later that night. Oh, well, I was going to say, why don't you come over to my house? We'll talk about it. All right. Plus, mom will be home. Don't you want to watch her open her gift? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I definitely want to see that. My mom's coming on Saturday, you guys, but the next time I'll see Sean is Sunday. So, that's why you should come over here. All right. Um, cause she ain't going to open it without you. Right, of course. So, yeah, guys, we will see you on Sunday. We hope you had a very Merry Christmas. Yeah, I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy holidays for those of you who don't celebrate Christmas or if you celebrate you know, and also if you're Jewish, happy Hanukkah, if you mm -hmm. celebrate Hanukkah. Or um, if you don't celebrate any of those holidays at all, I hope you're having a good day with whatever you're doing. Absolutely. So, you are enjoying a day off from work. So, yeah. Yeah. So that being said, we will see you all on Sunday. Yep. See you on Sunday. Bye. Bye, guys.